Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. I'm Hester, and this is the third and last part of my deck makeover. In episode one, you saw me build a table. In episode two, last week, you saw me paint the wall. And now I'm going to show you how everything looks together. Before I show what it looks like now, let's remind ourselves what it looked like a few weeks ago before I started this whole deck makeover. But also, have a look at what it looked like when we bought the house five years ago. So this was the image on the state agency website of our garden. This is what it kind of looked like at our first viewing, but when we moved in, this was the state of the garden. Complete overgrown jungle. So together with Ian's family, we unfortunately had to get rid of most of the plants. We tidied the, the borders, as you can see. We discovered the shed. The shed was actually a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be. But that had to have a little makeover, as you can see in one of the videos I've done for the website. We also built a fence, and then Ian's stepdad and his uncle built us this lovely deck. Then together with my dad, we built this outdoor bench. Like a nice L-shaped bench with a table and like cushions in the back where mom made the covers for. It's a really lovely functional deck. And as you can see, the plants started growing and the garden even got featured in a few magazines. This was for IKEA. And also it got featured in my own books a few times. So this is for the Palette Wood book. And yeah, the deck works perfectly. But the other major change in the garden though, because as you can see, one of the main features in the garden is this concrete slab, which isn't very child friendly. So last summer we put an underlay down and some artificial grass. And even though it's a bit green and a bit fake looking, it's so much better for Kiki to play on. And also it looks more like a real garden. So quick recap, garden before. And this is how it looks at the current moment. So much better. And this is the deck how it looked like a couple of weeks ago before I started all this work. So the really ugly magnolia wall and the bench was unpainted and this is the old divider wall. And Kiki and I gave the deck a really good scrub. We took part of the bench away and then I started building. So we got a painted bench, a new outdoor table and last week you saw me paint the wall. Now it's time for more. Is that already such a difference what it looked like a few weeks ago compared to how it looked like when we got the house? Which was this, this is a pile of concrete, there's nothing here. And it was perfect the way it was, it served as well for a few years, but I thought now we spend so much time at home I just want something really fun. And I think it looks really fun. This morning though I decided we needed one more thing and that was a different fly curtain. Let me show you. So I'm in real trouble finding a nice fly curtain. Like a fly curtain doesn't cost the earth, one that looks nice and also has good reviews online. Nice um, day. <laughs> Go with you. Nice day. <laughs> Namaste! <laughs> you do me say namaste. You silly bitty. Namaste! Oh, people ask him where Kiko get, Kiki gets her uh, wavy curly hair from. Namaste! It's me, I don't do anything to my hair. Namaste! Yeah. Same hair! Bye! Bye! <laughs> so yeah, I was talking fly curtains. Um, I'm having a little trouble finding one that I like and that is not very expensive. I just want one of those really old school 1960s beaded fly curtains. It's plain beads all the way down, like the ones your grandma used to have in her door. I can't seem to find them anywhere. For a few, but they have really weird patterns or they have really bad reviews. So I thought I made a few before. There's some tutorials on my uh, website. One I made out of plastic and one I made out of yarn. Fortunately, I don't have those anymore. So I thought. Let's just try, try and make a new one. Bye. Keep Kiki busy. A little project that's on my blog, 38 ways to keep your toddler busy. This little piece of paper I just taped to the floor with washi tape. And then she used them as little tunnels to push a bolt through. Or um, she likes to find stuff that are the same colour. Hey Geeks. Hi. So... Hi. I don't have a hair clip in. Okay. There you go. Pen. So I got this dowel. This one is 24 millimeters thick. Any kind of wood will work. Anything that's long. Long enough. It has to be sort of 10 centimeters longer than your door frame. Um, anything will do. Piece of bamboo. This is a 24 millimeter thick dowel. I still had left over from another project. Or a stick. Anything will do. And I'm using uh, the spaghetti yarn from Hook. You see me use this a lot because I love it. It's, um, it's a jersey. And it's also a byproduct from the clothing industry. So it's sort of um, environment friendly to use. What I'm going to do, I measured the <coughs> length I need, so I just cut a little bit of string and uh, hold up to the door and thought this is the length I need. And now I'm just going to cut loads and loads and loads and loads of pieces to that length. Don't know exactly how many I need, but uh, we'll find out and I'll let you know. So uh, that one does want to play with the tunnels. She wants to help, don't you, baby? 
Yeah. We got your dress cookie, didn't we? And you have your own scissors. Okay. You're gonna help. You oh. help these. Okay. Why don't you? Okay, Kiki. Why don't you cut that one with your scissors? There you go. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, that's what the scissors. You can't cut anything with those. Okay, bored of cutting now, I've got loads. I'm going to cut some more. But um, yeah, for the length, what I did, I uh, measured how long the door is and then just added 10 centimeters for uh, nothing. So we're going to do now, Kiki. We're going to knot it to the, to the rod, okay? And really is as simple as in getting your bit you just cut. You wrap it around the top twice and then you knot it in place. Let it double knot. And then just make sure all your knots are pointing the same way. And just keep doing this. All the ribbon you just cut. Like I said, make sure all the knots point the same way because that just looks a bit prettier. So, last one tied. I said, loving how neat this looks on top. Sure, I'm not going to see that because it's going to be behind um, the cutter. But uh, yeah, that might be a good idea for a wall hanging maybe one day. Also, almost completely use of the whole skein. But uh, yeah, should we go hang out? Let's go hang out, come on. Now, it's out with the old and in with the new. We might need to do a few little trims just to make sure it sits just above the trestles. Mommy! But I think it looks a lot better already. Mommy! Mommy! We did it! So the fly curtain is done, I think we're almost there. I was thinking though on painting the deck and I was looking at it yesterday, I was going to paint it yesterday evening. Then I thought, deck is being used a lot, especially with Kiki's toys. She's got her little mud table here and where the sand goes on the deck, it really wears down the wood even. It's like really a nicely sandblaster there. So it's definitely going to take up any paint they're going to put on top of there. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I did try and clean it yesterday, but um, yeah, I think it's time to style. Just at the edge of our decking, we have a low wall and then the steps towards the house on the other side. And just to zone off the deck a bit more and to make it safer, I always had a little, um, what do you call that, shelf here, a little divider. And it was falling apart a little by the old one, so I made a new one. These are just bits of uh, ply still in the shed. There's an old little drawer, a bit of kitchen's, Kiki's old kitchen, with a little um, clock still there. Bits of other things I found in the shed, and I just built this. I didn't do tutorial because sometimes it's really nice just to built something without having to do a tutorial. So just for fun, one uh, afternoon, I built this and I painted it in the same old white color that's on the wall. So now I think we should start up with some plants. Ready, Kicks? You think it's clean? I'm gonna brush it a bit more. I'm gonna brush it a bit more. And I'll go get some plants. I think I might leave it like this for now. There are some real plants in here, like these, and some faux ones. Um, I was gonna hope that Kiki's not gonna touch these, because we're trying to grow some strawberries behind me here, but they've been pulled out a few times already. And this is it, little uh, brush and dustpan. Popped it in there as well. And this is also a really good spot to put uh, drinks, or when you have people over for dinner, you can put like your condiments here and your cutlery. It's a very useful um, little divider here. So let's go on and do the rest of the deck. The morning little break. So let's have a coffee break first. Mama. Well, Kiki doesn't drink coffee. Mama. You want a cracker break, don't you? Cracker and cheese? Yeah. 
little Starling assistant thinks I didn't do a good job. She's rearranging it. starting to rain. Let's uh, tidy up Litzberg, head inside and I'll come back later. from walk. Let's finish this deck. This is an IKEA rocking chair we've had for the last six years in our garden. Uh, it's an outdoor one. It used to be black. I painted it white a while ago. I just made a cushion with some waterproof fabric so this can stay out year round. For the cushions, these ones are old ones. Uh, we had them for a while, and you can see they're a bit stained. I can't get the stains off. These are just IKEA cushions you normally have on your out outdoor furniture. But I hung them on little rods in between the posts of our fence. And, and these cushions, I <laughs> the thing as well. These cushions are just the ones we have um, indoors. I used to have cushions especially for outdoors, but then every evening you carry them back in again. I have nowhere to uh, store them, so now I just use cushions we have on the sofa. So during the day they live out here, in the evening they go back inside. You go back inside? You go back inside, yeah. Which one is your favourite? Um, blue. The blue one? The blue one. This one? Yeah. Really? Okay, good girl, because blue is my favourite colour too. Don't you like the spots? No. no. Should we put the spots here? There? And you keep the blue one? Cool. You know what, Kiki? I don't think I like these flowers here. Should we put those somewhere else? No. Yeah. A fun way to add some colour to my fence, which by the way is a project in my palette wood book, is by hanging some plant pots from it. And these are just really plain metal plant pots from IKEA. Drilled a hole in the back, hung an S-hook from it, and now I can just hang these on the fence. LED lights, solar lights, and even little vessels to hang faux flowers from are fun on the fence as well. These LED lights are fun to use. There's just some batteries in there, but when you pull it, the light goes on. Perfect. Want to read your book here in the evening? Should I go, Geeks? Yeah. Mum, I need to stay on at night. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the plant that he's popped on the table, so let's cut some of my eucalyptus. I think that's everything done. Should we go play?
What do you think? I hope you like it as much as I do because I think it's amazing. I love this makeover. Not a great amount have changed, but I think all the little bits together actually look so much lovelier. I'm very pleased with this wall. Why you know more magnolia and these shapes are so much fun. The weird thing is though, when the sun shines on the wall, like the full sun, and like between um, 12 and 2, you can't see the shapes. They just disappear in the sunlight. It looks like a pale grey wall. But then the sun goes behind the trees, it appears again. So it's like a magnetic wall. I'm so pleased with the table. We already had a few dinners out here. And even now in the morning, we're kicking out, just playing here, coloring, reading some books. It's so nice to have a bit more of a living room outside. If you enjoyed this video, I really hope you do, please give a big thumbs up. It really helps the video go up in the ratings. And also, have a look at all the other videos here on the Handmade Home channel. I make soon a new video, and I really hope to see you then.